one thing that we've seen over and over is that children's best learning experiences come about when they're experimenting, exploring, and playing in the world. And when they play, there's opportunities to you know, try new things, to take risks. And that's what's so important in developing as creative thinkers, which is so important for children today. So it's great to be working with Reggio and the Lego Foundation on how we can support this learning through play. And some of it is done by creating the right types of materials for children to build with and to play with and to create with. But also we need to support it as part of a community that will support young children as they grow and experiment and play and learn. So we've seen that children need to feel comfortable to take risks and to try new things, and they need to be surrounded by a caring community where other people will give them support and advice and ideas, and they feel comfortable with trying new things and collaborating and sharing, that their best learning experience will happen when children are playfully creating things in collaboration with others as part of a caring community. We've always been so inspired by the preschools and kindergartens of Reggio, and we see how children develop and, you know, and start to you know, develop into citizens of the world through their explorations and experimentation in the schools here. But it shouldn't stop after kindergarten and it shouldn't stop in Reggio. So I see this new initiative as a way to take those ideas from Reggio and extend it to learners of all ages and all parts of the world. We need to learn from the wonderful examples here in Reggio, but to work with people elsewhere in the world where they can take these ideas and you know, bring them into practice in their own settings. It will be different in different places in the world, but the core goals and the spirit remain the same. To provide young people of all ages with opportunities to experiment, explore, imagine, so they can develop as creative, collaborative, caring people uh, that will be able to thrive in tomorrow's world. Over the years, we've seen that children learn so much when they playfully create things in the world. When they build a tower with blocks, they learn about structure and stability. When they you know, use finger paint, they learn how colors mix together. Maybe most important, they learn about the creative process, how to take an idea and create something with it, to share it with others, to get feedback and new ideas and keep making adjustments and imagining new things. So we want to provide children with many opportunities to design, create, and experiment. But we can go beyond just building blocks and finger paint. Those will always be important, but there are new materials and new technologies that become available. With our Octa Studio project, we're trying to take mobile phones, smartphones that are now becoming so common in the world and make them into a material for building things. So the same way that you can develop your creative ideas by building with blocks and finger paint, you should be able to create animated stories and interactive games on your phone. We don't want children just using the phone to watch movies or have information delivered. We want them to be the creators. So we want to see how can we turn, make smartphones into something that children can create with. And we've been so excited to see how children are starting to use Octo Studio to express their ideas to make things that move and interact. So we want to expand what children can create and in the process, expand what they learn. It was exciting during my time here in Reggio to see children using technology to express themselves. Um, so we met with some children at the Lepido Middle School who'd been using Scratch in the past and we're now using our new Octo Studio app on phones and tablets. They could use it to create new types of things, things that move and interact, but also in combination with traditional craft materials. It was wonderful to see their imaginations come alive as they took traditional craft materials like a puppet and pipe cleaners, but then used the app to be able to make animations and to make stories to share their ideas with others. Uh, so it was wonderful to see their imaginations come alive. 
Even though we develop technologies like Scratch and Octo Studio, we always are delighted and amazed by how children use them in many ways we never imagined. And we saw that here in Reggio, as children use their imaginations to take our tools, but to create new types of things uh, along with one another to be able to share their ideas with the world. We're living in a world that's changing more rapidly than ever before. So today's children are going to face a never ending stream of unknown and uncertain and unpredictable situations in their lives. So it'll be more important than ever for them to develop the ability to think and act creatively, to come up with innovative approaches to the unpredictable situations that they will encounter. How can we help children develop as creative thinkers we need to give them opportunities to create. So we want to give them materials and create environments where they feel comfortable and supported to imagine, create, and share with one another. I think that's the most important way for them you know, to develop the very special skills that they'll need to thrive in today's complex and fast-changing world.